Hello. I was here about one year ago in the same situation. And after I came up here, we had the most glorious uh, vacation. Start off one day here and then two days here, Monterey, and then four days in Disneyland. That's where we actually wound up. So I'm kind of interested to see what happens this time. <laughs> so. Well, it'll be better than Disneyland. <laughs> and we're not putting that down. That's yeah. just old news. But my question is, is um, clarity on inspiration. I get these thoughts that come to me and they're not overpowering, they're just kind of subtle. And I want a way to make sure it's clarity of is something I should follow or I should not follow. Well, you see, when you're really in a non-resistant mode, you're not trying to make those decisions. Law of attraction is making them for you. Okay. You hear that? Don't try to think too much about it. This phrase will help you be the receiver of the thought, not the thinker of the thought. If you're thinking about clarity, then you're too in your own way. So just sort of back it off a little bit and let there be clarity in, this isn't quite the right expression, but let there be clarity in the smaller thought. Let there be clarity in the softer vibration, but sustain it long enough to let the momentum of it increase. So basically you just keep thinking about it. And let so we have some questions okay. for you. So would you rather have a simple, clear thought or a sophisticated resistant thought a simple clear thought well you're very wise what do you think most of the world means most of the world would rather have a sophisticated big time robust let's think about it all thought because that means I'm smarter and that means I've got more going on it feels like there's more dynamics dynamism <laughs> in it but what we're promising you is that if you start pure, oh, it'll become robust and it'll become fast, but it won't tear you apart as it increases. So does that answer your question about how to allow clarity to naturally evolve? Just don't mess it up at its basis and law of attraction will make it so. So as these thoughts are turning to things, what happens is this leads to this, 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 leads to this. And as the pieces begin to click into place, they almost take your breath away. It's like you realize after the fact how set up you were to receive that. Have you ever played the game? Well, if I hadn't been there, if that hadn't happened, then that couldn't have happened. And then that couldn't have happened. And then that couldn't have happened. And then that couldn't have happened. Have you ever played that game where you can actually trace it back? Well, those are good games to acknowledge because that's how it always is. There was always something before whatever happened. And as you start asking yourself, if what happened before was satisfying, then that's why this is too. And that's why this is too. And the, so if you start with a simple but satisfying premise, it's going to get bigger and faster moving and more complex and more sophisticated and more dynamic and more moving parts involved and still be clarity. So clarity is about absence of resistance. It's not about speed of something. It's about absence of resistance. Most people analogy we were using a little while ago it's like you think about what you want and it's like you're on a flat land and you are a train and you put an engine going that way which represents your desire but then you put an engine going the opposite way which represents your belief about it I want this but I believe this so now you've got two equally powerful engines going in opposite directions and you're not going anywhere well, when you don't go anywhere, most of you, it causes you to want it more. So you put another engine over there, which causes you to doubt it more. So you put another engine over there. So now you got four really strong engines. And that's the way a lot of people live their life until they are so exhausted that they just give up. And then the engines of desire carry them for a little while until they come back to sanity and begin shooting themselves in the foot again with their objective practicality. And what we're trying to guide you away from is your objective practicality. We want you to stop thinking so much and allow yourself to receive the thoughts that you've already thought. To receive the vibrational basis that you've already put into your vortex. To receive the maturing version of what's in your vortex. To receive the complementary cooperative components that the masters of the universe and all those that have gone before and all those who are caring about you, which is all of us know about what you now want. If you had any idea how many of us are in on this evolution and expansion of your vortex, you'd chill more. You would. 
You'd chill more. You'd try less. You'd suffer less. You'd compliment more. You'd criticize never. You'd look for reasons to appreciate. You'd meditate every single day of the world and bring yourself into alignment with who you are so that you could start this day in the sequence of who you really are, you see. And then you could turn on your television and you could see all of those wonderful people having all of those step one moments. And you would bless every single thing that they're living because they're filling the vortex full of all of the things that you are now the receiver of. So now? So first my desire is supposed to be general. It should be not specific, right? So when I get... Here's the thing. If it isn't working... If there's not satisfaction for whatever reason, then you've got to go more general. And that's really what we're demonstrating by going back to meditating. So as you go more general and then the general, it will become more and more specific as more and more momentum ensues. But if you start with making it more specific out here where the boat's already rocky, then the more specifics will be more of what you don't want. Where if you start back in the general place and you let it build again, then you'll build a foundation that is solid and the more specifics will be in accordance with the foundation. Did that make sense to you? Yes. And I have got there, right? And I have some small undesirable things happening, right? And instead of concentrating on them, I'm trying to concentrate on positive things at this. At but this. here's the thing. If you're looking at the manifestation and you're saying, well, that's positive, that's negative, and that's positive, and that's negative. And these are the good things and these are the not so good things. These are the pros and these are the cons. And it's really good in this way. And when you look for positive aspects in the manifestation, you can't help but amplify without meaning to the negative aspects too. But if you start over where there are no negative aspects and you allow the momentum to build, no negative aspects, only positive aspects, only positive aspects, only positive aspects. When you get there, that's all that's active in you. And then, because that's all that's active in you, the negative aspects have to fall away. In other words, you'll know what to do. The path of least resistance will be so obvious to you. Because sometimes those negative aspects that you see are modifiable by your strong energy. In other words, who's holding the energy of the room? Haven't you noticed that? If you are tuned in, tapped in, turned on, and you're in an environment with others, this powerful influence of alignment can carry a meeting. It can carry a situation. Everyone becomes more brilliant. Everyone becomes more loving. Everyone knows what to do. But if you didn't get there first and you just sort of wandered in a room because you've been assigned to be there and now you're taking score of what's already there and there's some of this and some of that and some of this and some of that, you didn't really bring any power of your own and now whatever energy is squeaking the loudest will be the energy that controls the meeting. You have so much evidence of this happening. How can we talk more often without following Esther all over the U.S.? <laughs> <laughs> How can I hear your, your answer more often? It's easy. We've only got one and we just gave it to you. <laughs> Thank you. Just buy this recording and just listen to it. There isn't a long list of things that you need to keep learning because the basics are the same. You're asking and source is delivering to you and you just get into receptive mode and if you say am i happy you were use words like love you don't know if you're offering love or not because love is so scrambled in your vibrational brain there's been so many times that you've thought about love while you weren't feeling it while you weren't in alignment you want love from somebody that's not giving it to you in other words love is sort of a word that you probably shouldn't say anymore because the vibration of it's kind of all whacked out you see but when you think in terms of satisfaction you can tell whether this is a satisfying moment or not you can tell and if it's satisfying stick with it and when it stops being satisfying then change the subject or release yourself back into your day so this is the dance that you all are doing we love you so much that you are out here on this leading edge doing this dance you came as pure positive energy into an environment where you were almost forced you were forced it was the world into which you were born you were forced into observation of manifestation and the manifestation that you're observing has all kinds of wanted and unwanted things in it. And then bless your heart, you spent your whole life trying to sort out the wrongness and the rightness of these manifestations. And that's why we say you just can't get there from there. 
You got to get back to the center of your true heart in order to understand what you're seeing and why it resonates and why it doesn't, why this feels so wonderful and why this feels so outrageous. And anything that feels outrageous and off is off because your inner being isn't seeing it the way you're seeing it, you see. This is how your guidance system works.